yo yo what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if it's your first time please consider hitting that subscribe button and everybody please leave a like on this video and a comment so what i wanted to do today was it's kind of different i don't know if i've seen anybody else do it on youtube i didn't really research it before i did it but it was an idea i had i wanted to go through the top 100 best video games based on metacritic um and see just like how many of them have I actually played or beat or tried or on my backlog or anything like that? You know, I feel like we always try to play like the newest thing. But, you know, there's a lot of gems that some of us probably haven't played. So I just wanted to go through it real quick. So let's look at it right here. So at number one, no surprise, you have The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Of course, my favorite video game of all time. I've beaten it multiple times. Not much else needs to be said. Everybody knows about that. Uh, number two, we got Soul Calibur with a 98. So the only 99 on here is Ocarina of Time. So that just speaks to its, you know, staying power. Um, of course, some of these are older, like 1998, 1999. So, you know, maybe there was less publications back then. Who knows? It might be like a 97 or 96 nowadays. But either way, 99 and then a 98 for Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur never played i played soul Calibur. i think four or five on the xbox 360 um i'm looking to get soul Calibur 2 for the uh the gamecube though because it has link in it and i've never played it and everybody swears by it so i want to check that out grand theft auto 4 so fun fact i've only played and be in one grand theft auto and that's grand theft auto 5 when it came out in 2013 so grand theft auto 4 i heard it's kind of like People don't talk about it that much when you talk about great Grand Theft Auto games, but clearly it got a 98, so I don't know why people aren't talking about it more. Then with two 97s, you got Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Now, I did play 1 back in high school and beat it, and I thought it was really good. It's one of my favorite uh, 3D Marios uh, after Odyssey. Um, 2, I actually never played, um, but I did just get it delivered today as I'm recording this, um, and I did pick up a Wii, so more on that a little later, so I do need to check out Mario Galaxy 2. They should have brought it to the Switch with the 3D All-Star Collection, but who knows why they didn't do that. Next, we got Breath of the Wild, of course, 97, and I've said it a million times, I'm saying it again, I was very rough on Breath of the Wild when it first came out, but... I've warmed up to it when Tears of the Kingdom came out. I ended up beating uh, Breath of the Wild, and it was pretty good. Um, but I do prefer Tears of the Kingdom uh, with its mechanics and everything that they introduced uh, with that. Then you got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 now with a 97. Back in the day, Tony Hawk was like a big thing. I've played them. I don't remember which one I played, but, you know... The, skate all these other you know extreme sports games aren't as big nowadays but again another old title that got very high reviews then you got red dead redemption 2 again a game that <laughs> i need to play with a 97 i bought it when it was on sale for like 20 something dollars the other uh, like two years ago i think i gotta play it then you got of course the 10 year old money printed machine grand theft auto 5 with a 97 you got Metroid Prime. Of course, I got a remaster. I'm not really into the Prime games. I'm not going to lie. I did have Metroid Prime 3 back on the Wii, but eh, it's, I don't know. The style of like backtracking and all that, it's not really for me. Then you got Grand Theft Auto 3. So you got three Grand Theft Autos and a bunch of Zelda games already in the top. So that just speaks to, you know, how great those games are. Then you got Super Mario Odyssey with a 97. No surprise there. Halo Combat Evolved, I still have not <laughs> beat this game, even with the Master Chief Collection, but everybody knows that started the whole craze, it was a system seller for the original Xbox, you know, people have kind of waned on it a little bit over the last few releases, but everybody knows Halo, classic. NFL 2K1, so I feel like you're only going to see, as far as sports games, you're only going to see older ones on here because they've just gone downhill. I've heard the 2K series was pretty good. I never played it, but hey, 97. Got Half-Life 2, of course, classic. Bioshock, one of my favorite games of all time. The first one right here with uh, 96. GoldenEye 007, of course, has not aged the best with the controls and how far, you know, first-person shooters have come. But, you know, still 96. Then you have Uncharted 2, 
never played it. I've played four. I got like halfway through, but Uncharted to me is, I don't know why. Like it's not as fun as like Tomb Raider, like the new ones to me. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know what about it. It just didn't click with me, but hey, 96 is a 96. And Resident Evil 4, I did just recently beat the remake. Excellent game. Deserves all the praise that it gets. Baldur's Gate 3, a very recent. That's the newest game that we've seen so far on here. So at number 20 with a 96. Baldur's Gate 3, of course, took the internet by storm. Everybody's still playing it till this day. So good for Larian right there. You got the orange box, which came with, you know, Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Team Fortress, Portal, which was big. Portal was that brand new game uh, coming out. So, of course, 96 there. You got Tekken 3. I don't... The only Tekken games I've actually played is, like, Tekken 2 on the original PS1. And then I think, like, Tekken Tag Tournament and, like, Tekken Cross Street Fighter or something like that. But, hey, 96... Mass Effect 2, it's actually the only Mass Effect game I've ever played and beat it, so makes makes perfect sense. Mass Effect 2 I thought was really good. I do want to complete the series, especially with the Legendary Edition being out, but um, I'll get to that at some point. Um, you got House in... What is this? The House in Fata Morgana Dreams of the Revenants. Never heard of it, so... Then we got another recent release with Elden Ring with a 96. Also getting that must play. All these got must play. I think anything over 90 has a must play uh, tag on it. So Elden Ring making a list. Haven't played it yet myself. Maybe one day. I'm not really into Souls likes, but we'll see. Skyrim, another one I haven't played. I may try it just because, you know, when, before Elder Scrolls 6 comes out, I want to have a little bit of knowledge about Elder Scrolls games, but... Haven't seen it yet. You got the original Half-Life from 1998 with a 96. Haven't played that either. The aforementioned Tears of the Kingdom on here. Of course, I played it. Put in 95 hours, I believe. So, great game. Uh, Wind Waker, believe it or not. As much of a Zelda fan as I am. Never played it. Um, I was thinking about getting it for the GameCube, um, but I don't know. I'm still waiting on that double pack. You know, that rumored double pack of wind waker twilight princess to come out on switch so still holding out for that you got the original gran turismo metal gear solid grand theft auto uh, i think it was grand theft auto 3 oh grand theft auto double pack okay so it's not like a real standalone game you got a portal spinoff here baldur's gate 2 that's interesting okay so baldur's gate Dang, Baldur's Gate 2 came out 23 years ago? Oh my god. Man, that was a long way to see a sequel. Uh, you got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I've played it a little bit. I wanted to get into it when they did the whole remaster collection, but that game was so broken that I, I didn't even bother spending money on it. So You got Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So Pretty much every 3D Grand Theft Auto was in the top 40 as far as Metacritic. They get a 95 or above, so Grand Theft Auto's highly touted little big planet never played it uh legend of zelda collection it's not a real game standalone it's a collection uh gran turismo 3 so gran turismo got two games in here never played them i didn't have a playstation or anything so a lot of these i probably haven't played just off of not having the system uh halo 2 i've played a little bit again part of the master chief collection i should go back and actually you know get that done um legend of zelda i think this is force yeah link to the past slash four swords again a double pack not really a game on its own uh then you have majora's mask i have it for the 3ds i just i don't know the whole time mechanic i couldn't get with it i want to play it and try it maybe i'll appreciate it more but a lot of people have you know spoken about it some people like it better than ocarina of time but yeah Last of Us, I did finally play Last of Us Remastered, and I bought Last of Us 2. It was for like $10. Watch the show. Make sure y'all check out my uh, comparison between the live action and the game. But phenomenal game. Um, definitely one of the best narratives of all time. And looking forward to see what Naughty Dog comes out with next. Uh, we got Twilight Princess. The game I bought stood out for the Wii with my mom at 5 a.m. at Target. 
got it, put in like 80 something hours into it. Again, a game I kind of want to buy for the Wii, but then I'm also waiting for that double pack port coming over from the Wii U. But great game, Dark Tome, you know, completely different mechanics and everything really took advantage of the Wii remote and everything. So great game. Madden, eh. Persona 5 Royal. So I have it. I will play it at some point. I have, I just beat Persona 3 Reload. So I'm going to get to it. All right. Just, just give me some time. Uh, Last of Us Remastered. I don't know what, I guess it's a different game. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, the first one. Now I played it. Probably won't since I have the second one. Portal 2, one of my favorite games. Uh, I had it back in high school. I don't have any more. I actually just beat the original Portal for the first time a couple months ago. But Portal, great game, fantastic uh, mechanics, puzzles, everything. Final Fantasy IX, I I really don't have any Final Fantasy <laughs> pedigree. I played re, uh, Remake. Uh, I'm playing through Crisis Core now, but I, I've never been in a Final Fantasy. So uh, You got God of War 2018. I did play that as far as the PlayStation Collection. Great game. I actually want to replay that one, um, but I don't own it. But it's pretty cheap, so I might, you know, get that. Um, again, Tony Hawk game, 94. Devil May Cry, the first one. I think I got to a point where, like, I couldn't beat it like a certain part i think i got to like mission 12 but my first devil may cry game was four and then three so like one and two just don't do it for me like i like i don't think i'll ever beat those they just they're just not as good um yeah you got madden again uh arkham city another game i need to play i have arkham knight i don't know what's wrong with me i love batman i need i need to get on that uh, Metro Prime Remastered, uh, Ocarina of Time 3D, I don't, I don't know why it's less than the original, but Chrono Cross, have not played that, I have Chrono Trigger, need to play that as well, Madden again, Gears of War, one of my favorite games of all time, on the 360, defined it, the chainsaw, the torque bow, the just greatness i i can't wait for the next gears game i cannot wait they need to remaster the second and third one they already did the ultimate edition of the first one like eight years ago so i don't know what's to hold up on that uh oblivion again never played elder scrolls game uh civilization no quake no but i do have quake 2 the reboot because it's on game pass and it's cool i'm not really a big fan of like doom and those kind of style games but you know Call of Duty 4, great starting point for a lot of people to get into Call of Duty with Modern Warfare, the online. Of course, it was a little bare bones when Modern Warfare 2 came out. That's when it really started popping, but Call of Duty 4 was was that work. Bioshock Infinite, I just beat this last year. Great game, great game. Not as good as the first one. I think I do put it above the second one, but... Bioshock series, again, waiting for that to come back or whatever they're doing with that. Halo 3, again, along with Call of Duty, I was just going back and forth with those two. Uh, eighth grade, uh, freshman year of high school, just jumping in matches with friends. And, you know, that was my first Halo game. So I played through the campaign a few times and just forge mode. Just, man, Halo 3 was, was that. Ninja Gaiden Black. I've never gone past the fourth mission. It's just, Ninja Gaiden's a hard game, man. Like, you, it's so hard. <laughs> and, like, you can't really, like... I don't know if you could lower the difficulty, but, like, it's very difficult. There are certain points you get past where, like, you could heal, but then, like, there's not just unlimited health running around. Like, it's, it's pretty difficult, and you can't just buy mash to it. But Ninja Gaiden series, one of my favorites. Grim Fandango, no idea what that is. Metal Gear Solid, I've never played any Metal Gear Solid games, but it's touted, of course. It's up here, 94 Metacritic for a reason. Uh, Super Mario 3 on the Game Boy Advance. So I play Super Mario 3 on the original NES, and it's considered, you know, the best 2D Mario, so makes sense why it's up here. Uh, Splinter Cell, never played any of those. God of War Ragnarok great game of course like i said y'all know i love 
2018. So, Resident Evil Code Veronica. So, I would like them to remake this the same way they did uh, 2, 3, and 4. Um, I did have it on the Dreamcast, but I was just not into Resident Evil back then. And it's a little age, you know, and I wasn't into zombie games and all that like that back then. So, I would like them to remake that. Burnout 3, yeah, I've, I've never played Burnout. I think I have Burnout Paradise because I wanted it so bad and then it remade it and I just never played it. Diablo, never played any of Diablo games. Again, Metal Gear Solid, never played any of those. Modern Warfare 2, man. That's, listen. I know everybody talks about Black Ops, Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare 3, Infinite Warfare, whatever. This is the blueprint. Modern Warfare 2 put Call of Duty where it needs to be. It, it just did. That's where it, AC-130, nukes first came, or the nukes come out in Black Ops. I forget. But you got, yeah, no, no, I think nukes is in here. AC-130, Chopper Gunner, Harrier Strikes. Come on, man. Just search and destroy. Just come on. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, again, never played. God of War, so again, I never played the original trilogy of God of War, but I'm not surprised that it's up here. It's a very different game. It was way more closer to, like, Devil May Cry and Bayonetta than what it is now, but I prefer the the new God of War. Uh, you got KOTOR, never played it. I don't think I haven't played any Star Wars game besides Fallen Order, but good for them. Another Civilization game. Virtual Fighter 4. I've only played the demo of Virtual Fighter 5, but I don't know why. I feel like Virtual Fighter is probably on that lower tier of fighting games. Like at the top, you got like Mortal Kombat, Tekken, and Street Fighter. Then you got like Virtual Fighter, Dead or Alive, like Soul Calibur, maybe Killer Instinct in there, maybe a little lower, but I don't know. People seem to like it. Um, Oh, and then right next to it, Smash Brawl. So, <laughs> dang, so where's Smash Ultimate? It's probably not even in the top 100, but Smash is Smash is actually in that top tier. Brawl, I've played every, actually Melee, I had never had a GameCube, so I didn't play too many hours in it, but every other Smash, thousands of hours. This, this is actually disgusting how much I've played it. Um, Company Heroes, don't know what that is. Gran Turismo. Last of Us Part 2, so that got a 93, it's very divisive, the new season is coming out soon, and I cannot wait till everybody watches that, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Uh, another Splinter Cell game, Grand Theft Auto on the DS, Pac-Man Championship Edition, I actually do have this game on uh, Xbox, so it was on the Xbox Arcade, but it's backwards compatible, it's very fun, I like, like, the idea of same thing with Tetris, like when they take these old games and bring them into like modern times and switch it up, it kind of has that, you know, Geometry Wars looking thing to a different modes, things like that. So definitely a great game. Dwarf Fortress. Don't know what that is. Half-Life Alex VR game. Never played it. Divinity. Don't know what that is. Unreal Tournament. I've heard this was like the precursor to Gears of War. Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong, but never played it. Braid. I remember that was an Xbox Live arcade game. Never played it. God of War 2. Again, never played the original trilogy. Super Mario 3D World with a 93. Great game. Of course, it launched on the Wii U, but I played it on the Switch. The Wii U had a lot of great games, man, that they ported. And it's it's pretty evident because of how well they do on the Switch. Like, you got Super Mario 3D World. We're waiting on the Zelda Wind Waker double pack or single individual release of those. You got Pikmin 3. Like, so many of these great games were on the Wii U and just came to Switch and did better. So, it's a, you know... Nintendo never skimps on the quality of the game. It's just it just didn't hit with the system. StarCraft 2, never played any StarCraft. Uh, SSX, I may have played at like a cousin's house or something like that. I wasn't really into like the game, like extreme sports games like that. Um, Street Fighter 4, not bad. I used to have it on the 3DS, believe it or not, but. This is where Street Fighter got a little complicated for me. I was used to Street Fighter 2, you know, simple people everybody has like two or three power moves and then you jump and kick in the head and all that and once they start adding all these like combos and stuff like that and 
it's just i don't know there's a lot of mechanics i'm still not used to i did buy street fighter 6 because it was on sale but i'm still not there yet and then number 100 with a 93 you got persona 4 golden now this was on game pass i didn't get around to it um i do want to play it next i'm debating if i want to play that or persona 5 next because i played persona 3 reload then if i play persona 5 royal for like four golden it's going to be a little outdated looking to me but a lot of people really love it that's their favorite uh, with the story and everything is where a lot of people got into the series i do have a special edition coming from limited run games at some point this year so I don't know i may i kind of wanted to keep that sealed but then i'm not trying to double dip and pay somewhere else i don't know maybe xbox brings it back to game pass that would be great but yeah so that's the top uh 100 games as you can see there's other stuff on here that we all like you know fallout 3 okami all these have 93s which is you know similar to the other games above it so i just went through it real quick so i was at about 31 <laughs> out of 100 so Hey, 31%, not terrible, not terrible. And of course, like I said, a lot of these games, some of them are like old computer games or games I have, I just haven't played yet. So hopefully I could get up to 50% at some point. Y'all let me know uh, in the comment section below, how many of these games did you play or beat? What do you think is overrated out of these? And what do you think is underrated that should be a lot higher than these other games? Y'all let me know in the comment section below, of course. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.